Okay guys, guess what I got from school today? The Pyrotronic System 3 fire alarm panel. And the door's over there. So this is going to be a video describing what's in this panel and some other stuff about it. So let's get started. So, right here, I'll just start with this because this is not in most of these panels. Reset, lamp test, and trouble silence switches. These are not latch latching um, switches, as you can see. They're momentary switches, which means they're pretty much like a button, I guess you could say. And you'll notice that the original power light is missing. It's replaced with that little one right there in this corner of goodies over here is what I like to call it because I mean look at this stuff there's like a uh, capacitor, resistors, and s oh, pencil, the screws to put the door on, a bunch of other stuff and the lights right here I actually found that when I got it I don't know why all that's in there but that's cool because there's like capacitors and resistors and stuff over there I pretty much got everything from this panel, like, to silence. I have the horns in the normal position. So, it's kind of complicated to reset this panel, so... Once you've reset it, you'd have to push those down. I don't have anything hooked up to it, because I didn't get the power supply, which sucks, because I can't hook it up. They used it for the new one, which is a Firelight MS9200UDL, I think. It's a tiny panel, and there's no batteries, and I got the batteries from this one. And by tiny panel, I mean, like, the size of it. Like, it's about, like, here, and then, like, across the top of this thing, then down from that power light. That's how big it is. It's a lot smaller than this panel, but it's it's awesome. There's a screen in it, and it's cool. Uh, there's no batteries in that one, so yeah. Now, the thing, you'd have to have the horns in the operated thing, and you know. And... I'll just pull this thing. I got a new one. Watch the video um, of unboxing. So, you'd pull the fire alarm, then the sig the alarm signal will go to the panel, and then to silent to uh, silence the horns, you'd push these two switches up, then hit the reset button. Well, switch whatever. You'd push that down. And then it would reset the panel, and then you'd have to put the things back in operated. Now what happens if they're off, well, normal, uh, would be if you, I'll just use my other one here, if you pull this um, system, just the strobes would go off if you have any connected. I mean, in the, new, in the older part of the section there was only like Simplex 9806 and 4050s, so I'm not sure if this is AC or DC. I'm hoping it's DC so I can use it with my other stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, Pyrotronic System 3 Fire Alarm, Universal Fire Alarm Control, it's universal. So you can control any fire alarm in the universe with this. No, I'm kidding. That would be awesome, but you know. So. And then here, I don't have this screwed in right now because I wanted to show you the power LED right there. Well, it's not an LED. It's weird. This thing is weird because there's like a resistor in there. I don't know if it, it will focus that close. Let's see. Let's see if I can get get it to look. Yeah, see that thing right there? I'll try to point at it. Look, that thing right there. 
and it, it's, it looks like it melted the plastic a little bit because it got hot. And then it was actually handwritten labeled right here, reset. This one wasn't handwritten labeled. And I'm going to have to switch some of these out because look at this. Owl, Owl Fellowship Hall Zone 4 Spare Zone. Yeah, I'm going to have to swap this one out because that was from school. Lower Level East Zone 2. I'm going to have to replace this like living room and my room and stuff like that. My sister's room, parents' room. Because when we move, I'm going to have a full fire alarm system in our house. I don't know if I told you that already. And relays are in here, a whole bunch of relays actually. I need some mess of wires in here, like a huge mess. See? I mean, look at all those wires. Yeah, that's weird. It goes from there up to there, then to this thing, and yeah, you know. It's it's a weird panel, but I got it for free, so I'll take what I can get for now while I'm saving up for my MacBook. When I once I get one I'll probably buy a nicer panel. But I'll still keep this one around. And oh look, pink wire. My sister will like that. <laughs> pink wire. I've never seen that before. Orange wire, I've seen that before. And there's capacitors which are wired double sided, which is very, very strange. I've never seen that before either. And then resistors, I don't Resistors aren't even made like that anymore. I mean, like, look at this. Now, in this thing, I, I put a resistor in it. That's why it was um, doing that. That's why it was making the battery so hot and killed my, my power supply right there. Uh, that thing. They make resistors like that now. This is a 560 ohm resistor. I don't know. I think so. Yeah. This thing looks nice, brand new. Uh, the first system test, probably there will be two pole stations in my room. It'll probably be the Johnson Controls JBGX-10. I'll might as well pull it since I pulled the other one. JBGX-10L. Maybe the old one, probably not. Probably this one. I only have three pole stations. One of them, only one of them is functional right now, which is the JBGX-10L otherwise known as the Firelight BG-10. I'll have to reset that later. Yeah, so... Uh, the fuses are right there. There's a whole bunch of fuses in this panel, like... There's four different looking ones. Actually, you know, they probably don't look any different. Let's pull this out and see. Well, I'll try to, you know. Yeah, they look the same. They're just in a different thing. But, yeah. And now I can't get it back in. I'm gonna have to set the camera down for a minute. I'll try to do this so I can actually see it. Let's see. I think it's this one. Let me see. Ah, bright light. Yeah, it's that one. Okay. Yeah, that probably isn't gonna work. We'll just do this. Lean it up against a book. Camera's out of focus. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this part out. The joy of editing movies. So, let me just make sure you guys can see that. Let's focus it. There we go. Okay. Now I can see what I'm doing at least.
Yeah, so I can't get it back in there. Another thing we're going to have to fix and get a power supply. <sighs> I'll put it back in later. So, yeah. Let's go over here to the door. Now, I'm going to have to find something to cover that with because there's a phone number on there. Things you can take out, maybe. Is there a phone number on the back? It doesn't look like it. The door is really heavy, too. It's heavier than I... The panel itself has to weigh at least, at least 50 pounds. Okay, that's a little exaggeration. At least 10 or 20. 15, maybe. Because it took me, my friend, and my mom just to get it out of the school. Oh, that's not right. Located in cafeteria electric room wasn't even in a cafeteria. It was like upstairs outside the principal's office. That's funny. There it is. Key lock is right here. This would be on the panel, but I can't figure out how to get it back on. So yeah. Uh, this video turned out to be a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but yeah, and I'll also need some help hooking this thing up, because I don't know, so if, if any of you know how to hook one of these things up, I could use some help with it, because it's old, it's an old man, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have to put this thing back in, put the fuse back in, and do a whole bunch of servicing to this thing, because this thing Oops, look at that. Wires are sticking out. That's dangerous. Not really. Let's... Yeah. So... Uh, the only person I know of other than me that has one of these panels is uh, the SDX. He has one of these panels. He's the only person I know of other than me that has one of these things. Yeah. So maybe he'll know how to hook it up. So yeah, I'm gonna have to tighten these screws down. Like, yeah, you know. Oh, oh, I didn't show you this. Uh, oh, it's downstairs, I'm gonna have to go get it. All right guys, so this thing here is, it is not an enunciator. I know it looks like one, but it's not. These are little lights. They're not even LEDs. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're incandescent. Let's see. I'll take one out. Yeah, those are incandescent. Uh, let's see. They are not LED because this was like a time before LEDs. Uh, there is a card in there that was signed on. I think it was May, yeah, May 12th, uh, 1986. Let me get it. I'm not going to show the whole thing because there's a phone number. See, it says called 512-86, which 1986, 4.07 p.m. I have no idea what gone means. And then called 513 because there was like a trouble in the system or something it was uh... there was a dialer which means whenever the system would go into alarm or there was a trouble or something it wasn't hooked up to like any fire alarm brand or monitor it was actually hooked up to the fire department because the fire department would monitor it all the time and the way we would do fire drills would be uh, obviously not by a drill switch, because there is no drill switch in here. You can see there's, like, nothing there. Well, this might, this might work, but I don't know. I would probably still call the fire department. So the way it would work would be, the person who activates the fire alarm would have to call the, uh, yeah, call the fire department, and then they would take the panel offline 
and then the fire alarm station no 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 the fire station would um put the uh panel into alarm which is weird i mean like i don't know why i didn't even think this thing was capable of doing that and another thing i have this um power meter up here uh there we go let's just put it on 40 volts and these batteries uh they're actually charged still but they're not hooked up, which is probably a good thing. So we'll just stick that there and the other one there. See? There's still a little bit of power in them. Let's try flipping it. Because I don't know. Yeah, see, there's like 23 volts in there. But. Now oh, 26. That's weird because these are rated at like. Oh, let me find. Yeah, 12 volts. Right there. Power light. Power right, actually. Yeah. Oh, here, look. 20 hour. Ooh, I can power my fire alarm panel for a day without plugging it in. Well, I mean, like, I'm not going to hook anything up to it because I have no idea what does what on this panel. I don't want to explode those things, you know, because I already killed the power supply. So, yeah. There's that corner of goodies over there. That's funny. I don't know why that's all in there. Yeah, there was, there was labels. I don't know if you can see the little letters. Um, the reason I took those things off is because... One, they were ripped up. Two, I don't need them, because this they were, like, over the screw holes. Now, the, I think another reason why they have this, and, like, I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't work. But, yeah, it's just a little thing of incandescent lights. Let's see, right there, in the back. The thing is, it was the, well, the room that this thing was in. Now, that one's, like totally blacked out. That one probably doesn't work at all. Because it, those two LEDs are, well, not LEDs, little incandescent lights were the, probably the only ones being used because they're the only ones that are labeled for zone 4 and zone 6. Which there isn't even a zone 6 in this panel. So I'm like, what? <sighs> yeah, it's weird. It's a weird panel. But yeah, this, the this panel was upstairs in the uh, ballroom because there's like a whole bunch of basketballs and other stuff, kickballs, whatever, you know, stuff like that. And those things right there, they're transistors. The resistors, relays. There's six relays right here, and then there's three behind that cover. And as you can see, I screwed it back on, so I'm not going to take it off again. Maybe, yeah, you can kind of see there's two, and then there's one about right here behind Pyrotronics. See, Pyrotronics. Yeah. And I do have the cover for this light. That might be an LED. No, that's not. I don't know. You know. So, the, let's... <clears throat> off topic again, so let's get back to this thing. This thing, uh, it was outside the room that the panel was in, which is like right by a glass door. So it was clear. I'm pretty sure that has to be there because when the fire department comes, they need to see what zone is in trouble. Like, they need to see what zone is in trouble so they can go to that place in the building and put out the fire, if there is one. Last year, I think, uh, yeah, it was last year, some preschooler pulled the fire alarm. It was funny, we were standing out there for ten minutes, and it was... I could hear the MTs all the way outside, they were on high volume continuous. They're exactly like that one, except the MTs there are 75 candela strobes, but they're LSM. MT24 LSM. So I'm pretty sure this thing puts out DC. But I have no idea.
this is like a rare panel. Because there's lamp test and trouble silence and reset. Yeah, you know, it's cool. Horns off. Let's see. Yeah. That's the point of that little light thing. Yeah. Now it's just... Now it's just like, there is an enunciator out there still, but it's bigger and there's buttons on it. There's no lights. No, no, no. There's lights, but there's no screen. So, yeah, there's still an enunciator, but there's no uh, labels or anything on it. Yeah. And, oh, resistor. Let's put it in the corner of goodies in case I need it. Anyway, um, now instead of just looking, they just look on the screen because there's still a dialer, obviously. So it tells trouble, no, 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 a fire alarm at whatever building. And I'm not sure if it says the zone name, but yeah, capacitors in there and stuff and everything, relays, other stuff door that I can't figure out how to get back on that weighs like seven pounds or something. It's heavy. It's this whole panel is like pretty much entirely made of metal. It's cool to have this panel. It's very rare. And another thing that's rare, this pole station's brand new. Never before used until I used it. <laughs> yeah. So I'll try to fix this thing so I can use it in system test one. Yeah. 110 volt. It's upside down. I'll flip the camera over. 110 volt. Panel EM number three. Yeah, I don't know if this was used before it was in that school. But yeah. So this video was like 20 minutes long. Or something. This video turned out to be a lot longer than I expected it to be. And yeah. Now I'll try to show how the door looks by just... Uh, I'll have to stop this for a minute. So, you'll remember in the earlier part of this video, uh, it was Monday, today's Wednesday, I haven't gotten around to doing this, so I'll just do it now. Uh, we got the door installed, and I didn't have time to film it the night we did. We got it installed on Monday, and I um, figured it's actually really easy to install. You just see all these screws right here. You have to put the, pan you have to put the door on the panel before you do th that. Screw the screws in. The door weighs at least seven pounds. It's, it's really heavy. And I mean, like, really heavy. And some other things that were wrong in the other part. I said you'd have to have these two switches down. Well, that's not true, actually. Uh, you can see maybe those, these two switches right here. It, um, how you do it is they have to be in the normal mode or up. 
and then when you sound the alarm, the alarm light comes on and whatever thing, red light, whatever zone is in it, then you push it down to silence it. Then when you push the little reset button, oops, reset button, whatever, right here, down, uh, if there's a trouble in the system, uh, it sounds, it's, uh, it's, uh, not a, it's not a piezo, it's a, uh, mechanical horn. Well, it's an electromechanical horn. I found that out from the SDX video of this, except on his panel, you see on mine, it's, uh, clear right here, see? On his, these black things are, um, all the way on the end, and there's no batteries in his, and then on mine there's batteries, um, three extra modules, so there's six zones on this thing. Six relays right here, batteries. These batteries actually do have power and all. I have an electro meter or whatever it is. I'm here to prove it. Just get it set up. Put it on 40 volts DC. So. Uh, yeah, see? 26.32 volts. That's pretty incredible for how old these batteries are. I mean, like, and it's been unplugged for more than a month. And it hasn't been charged for longer than that time because it looks like these batteries were disconnected. But it obviously is disconnected because it would be powering the panel now. See, 26.33 and 34 volts, whatever jumps between those two a lot. Yeah, and uh, I've got to take this off to show you. So, when I got this, this thing was actually un in, well, not un in there, but it wasn't in there when I got it. I, I got, like, this thing, which I showed you already, little zone, zone alarm indicator or whatever. Yeah, six zones in this panel. I didn't notice these down here the other time. But yeah, I can't figure out where those wires go to. These two open wire leads. Gonna have to uh, figure that out. There's three relays under here. So there's nine relays in here. Six here and six here and three there. I don't know if there's any more in these modules. There probably is and under this thing here. Uh, maybe just a heat sink. I don't know. But yeah, I, I don't want to take it apart because I don't want to break it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that this panel is expanded as much as it can be expanded too. Because from the looks of it, it doesn't look like there's any more room for these modules. Well, any more of these modules here. Audible circuit trouble, audible circuit trouble twice. There's actually, looks like these lights are green and these are yellow. Yeah, this panel is at least 30 years old. And the original power incandescent thing, because this is an LED. It's from a time before LEDs. For those who do not know what LED stands for, it stands for light emitting diode. Let me just screw this back on. There's updates of my fire alarm board. So when I get this thing up and running, I'm probably not going to use the board much anymore. Because it's, I don't know if you've ever seen any of Ronick Bot's videos, but he has a fairly small system. But he's just starting, oh no, he's not just starting. He's had fire alarms, but he just got a panel. It was a Radionics one. But yeah. In his, he has the panel in his room, a pull station in his room, smoke detector in his room, alarm in his room, and then out in, the, in, and out in his hallway. 
it's just uh, an alarm, and there's going to be an i3 out there. Yeah, so that's what's in his thing. That might be what it is with mine, and again, fire alarm board over there, power supply is dead. It turns out you have to have resistors in those pulse stations for those not paying attention in the earlier part of the video. So this video is probably like half an hour long and more... Well, it was actually pretty much all explanation and no alarm sounding because, you know, I don't have a power supply. Yeah. So if anyone knows how to do this, or what... I know it runs on 110, 115 volts, or 120, whatever runs on wall outlet then come transforms it but the SDX said he'd help me um, get this thing hooked up so um, I think that's about it so thank you for watching this extremely long fire alarm video oops it didn't hit stop